Hello right, folks, I'm back at the Tinsley Park Shooting Club again today. Uh, I've bought a rifle out, I've not uh, been shooting with for quite some time, but it, it is a really good rifle. Uh, very accurate. Uh, unfortunately, they don't make them anymore. Uh, it's a Falcon. And Falcon uh, made some fantastic rifles. Uh, and they went out of business probably, I don't know, probably about eight years ago and their arms took them on and as soon as they got hold of them, that's the last we saw of them. I think basically they took out the competition, it's, uh, it's shoot lovely. Uh, this one's a 177, <coughs> that's a Falcon Prairie BM which stands for the ball barrel and multi shot. Beers for the ball barrel and then for the multi shot. Uh, it's in a 177, uh, shrouded barrel, although it's still got quite a crack on it. I've not, I've not actually looked into uh, it to see if the shroud's got a, an actual moderator built into it or not. But I have fitted an, an extra moderator on the end of it, which helps a lot. Uh, it's not moderated, uh, I'm not sure, it's not. Well, I'm not about moderator. It's not regulated, but uh, having said that, it's it's very uh, consistent anyway. Uh, it's got a, a manual safety catch on it, which you can operate with the thumb. Uh, profile stock, uh, quite a nice stock actually, as you can see. Book pad is not adjustable. But you could uh, get an adjustable one made for it. Uh, it's an eight shot bolt action and it's a good go to rifle, you know, if for consistency and accuracy. Uh, what I've got today, <coughs> uh, it does like business magnums, but I've got none of them with me, so I've got the, uh, the Day State Sovereign Range Masters. Uh, and these uh, basically they used to be known as the Day State uh, Field Target Heavies, which these weigh uh, 10.3 grains. Just a bit lighter than the uh, the Bisley Magnums, but they're they're a nice uh, pellet, and they uh, they have proved quite accurate in the past, and they the uh, the extra weight helps out when it when it gets windy. Uh, so it's a nice morning. Uh, I'm a bit later today. It's uh, just coming up to a quarter to seven in the morning. Uh, the range is looking quite good. You can see people have been painting things up. Uh, it's quite a good setup. So we'll get on with the test. Uh, what I will do, I will start off close and work my way out to see what it's zeroed in at. But uh, being a 177, it, it will shoot flatter than the 2-2. Uh, the so it gives you a bit more leeway. So uh, we'll get on with it. Okay, so I'm starting from uh, just 10 yards and I'm going to go up with 5 yard increments. I've got a 14 centimetres of target set up. I'll change the target each time and we'll see where it's actually zeroed in at the moment and we'll see what kind of uh, shot curve it's got to it. Okay, just 
Now this the scope I'm using, it's a Nikkei Sterling, it's a 40, uh, 40, 40 uh, millimeter lens at the front and it's uh, adjustable objective lens. I took it down to 30 feet and it's a six times power. So there we go. You can see it shooting, uh, shooting slightly left to centre and a bit low down. Okay, so they've basically all gone through the same hole at 30 feet, which you'd expect anyway. So that's four shots at 10 yards. So I'll move it back now to 15 yards. You can follow me up. Okay, back to 15. Make sure you're focused in. probably find now that 15 we might be on the ball uh, but what I will do I will adjust for the windage probably the last time I came up here there's a bit of wind on so I'll send it over to the right by two clicks See, the last two pellets are on the top of each other, aren't they? Drop off and I pulled that one. Yeah. So the third shot weren't my best. But uh, that was me not with gun. Uh, so yeah, it still needs to come over to the right a bit. So a couple of clicks still. Oops. Right. So I'll put I'll put uh, I'll put the target back now to uh, 20 yards. Let's see what it's doing there. See, I buggered that one up, but the other three are on top of each other. So we'll stick that one back. Okay, so I uh, put the target back to 20 yards now. that shot curve looks going high but uh, it is in line with the ball uh, horizontally that wind's starting to blow Okay. 
So apart from the, the uh, I think it was second shot that went a bit lower, all the, the other three have gone more or less through the same hole again. Uh, that's 20 yards. Okay, so we'll put it back to 25 now. Yeah, strange result that one. It's a very tight group really, even even having said that. Right, let's move up again. It's 25 yards. See the pellets are piling up on top of each other at 25. That's gone left now, but the wind has started to blow. Oh, that one went a bit low. But yeah, based on that, it's probably zero to around 20. Three yards, maybe. Yeah. So I'll push it out to thirty. Uh, and when I get to thirty, I will probably adjust it to thirty then. Target's back to 30 yards now. <coughs> Still got a tendency to go left, but like I say, that wind is blowing. Showing that the wind's picked up. But, uh, you can definitely see it's dropped down there by about one mil dot. <coughs> okay. I may actually 
to leave it as it is and just to just buy using the uh, old over method okay so uh, oh, chuffing wind I say I've got a bell target up there I might have a go at that and if the wind's not playing up we've got a good chance okay As you can see the, the main clusters there. Got two that dropped off to the left a bit. There we go. Now if you look, I'll show you in a minute. If you look down the range there at the 60 yards of the flag. Blowing this way. But, uh, I mean, the flag's not, you know, it's just starting to go again there, but it's blowing a lot more than that when I was shooting down here. But that's what it's like here, actually. <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, we've got a good range down here. But we do have to put all the weather. It seems to blow over the banks and vortexes around. It goes in all directions. But it all makes it interesting. Okay then, so we've got a bell target at 25 yards. I'll have a go at that. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Yeah. So mate, I'm uh, holding over and slightly to the right because of the wind. Put my glasses on. Don't trust these things if they ricochet or not. So that's two out of two there. Yeah. Nope. So what's that? Five out of eight at 25 yards on the bell target. A bit easier on the 177 because it's a smaller pellet than a 22, but not bad considering the bloody wind.